Well, I have a couple projects that I'm working on, and one I have in front of me right now, and the other one I'm not going to actually have until tonight. But uh, this one I've had here before. This is a Dell Latitude D620, and it belongs to a friend of mine, and she wanted me to speed it up a little bit. And I told her I'd give it a try. Um, last time I had it here, she wanted me to do the same thing. And uh, this time I decided just to uh, reinstall Windows. It's a lot better, a lot easier, and uh, she didn't have anything on the computer she needed to save. So so I'm in the middle of uh, formatting the hard drive right now. Well, it's pretty near done. And uh, I'm hoping that the install will go smooth because the disk isn't in the best shape. It's the original um, Dell uh, Windows XP disk for this thing, and it's, like I said, it's not in very good shape. But as for the other project, it's another broken monitor. It's probably pretty similar to this one. The guy told me he had a Acer 19-inch widescreen monitor, and he says it works, but it doesn't work properly, so whatever that means. I'm hoping a few capacitors or something, but if it's something more serious, I do have some parts here, so... Well, he brought the TVs and the monitor a little bit early, so uh, I'll show you what I got here. So I have a Insignia 32 inch. Uh, it won't turn on, so I'm hoping maybe I can I can fix it. Who knows though? This one here is a ViewSonic. I'll try to lean it back so you can actually see it. Okay, this one's a ViewSonic 32 inch. This one has a broken screen, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's smashed right up in here. And I think this one actually turns on. And the best one out of the lot is this other ViewSonic that's uh, similar to this one, but not identical. But this one here actually turns on, but after about probably four seconds or so it turns back off so I'm hoping that maybe maybe there's a couple of blown capacitors in this one if not hopefully the um, the power board in this one will work in that one. Oh, and the monitor this monitor is just a little 19 inch Acer and uh, at first this was all I was gonna get but then he uh, told me he had three TVs too so I figured I may as well take those well some good news for a change this one has I don't know if you can see or not but it has one two three four five five bulge six bulged capacitors so hopefully I have all the right ones if not the other TV that's almost identical to this probably has the same board so I might actually just take that other TV apart and see if the board is the same and then just fix this board and keep it as a spare well, there's one down and uh, <clears throat> a couple more to go. The other ones are a uh, harder fix, though. This one here only had, I think, five or six blown capacitors in it, so it was just a matter of changing those, and uh, it's back up and running. The problem I have with it is I was going to use it for a computer monitor, because it, it would be nice to have a nice big uh, monitor, but I can't seem to figure out how to get the HDMI to work on the computer and on the on the television. So 
I'll have to keep looking into that and I might actually I might actually switch that over and use it for a monitor. I was kind of hoping I could get both of those TVs working, the Insignia one and this one, and that way there I could uh, use the Insignia as a TV and use that one as a monitor, but oh well, not a big deal. And there's my old CRT. I'll probably keep a hold of that just in case the fix on this uh, LCD doesn't hold. Any hoozle, I'll show you the other two. There's the base for for that insignia. It's quite a quite a strange one. So anyway, here's the insignia television. I can't remember right offhand what I did with the what I did with the power board out of that. Hmm. Oh well, anyway, the power board is totally fried. I put another fuse in, I opened it up, and I saw that there was a blown fuse. And here it is right here. So I was thinking, well, geez, that's an easy fix. I get a whole bunch of fuses. So I put another fuse exactly the same as that in there. And she popped again, so I took a better look at the power board, and it's just totally frigged and here's the little Acer monitor this one here is a lot newer than the other one I have over there but but it doesn't have any DVI which is kind of strange it's just got uh, just uh, VGA not a big deal, it's only going to be a secondary monitor anyway. I'm going to use the one with the DVI as my main monitor, and this one's just going to be a secondary one that's, uh, you know, just for a two-monitor setup.